Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of an alarm clock, digital alarm clock, by a company called AZUTTA. Now this has seven color display, you have a choice, and uh, there's five different dimmer levels, and you could use this for your bedroom, for travel, your dorm room, it has volume adjustability, snooze, weekend calendar, um, FM sleep timer, nap countdown, and charger and cable. So right here, it has this USB charger. It's a uh, very nice quality. It actually is one and a half amps. Uh, so usually there is one amp. This has got more energy to it. And it includes this USB cable, which plugs into the back of this right there. And then allows you to power the alarm clock. This cable right here is the FM antenna. That's the front of the alarm. It's got some really nice rubberized feet so that it won't slide around on your table. We're going to power this up. And on the back it has the USB port so that you could charge your phone or anything that uses USB. And then it has a battery compartment that you open up and you put three AAA batteries in there. And what that'll do, that'll keep the, uh, the uh, alarm clock back up and also allow you to use it without the USB. Now keep in mind that with these batteries, if you don't have this powered on, it will not charge the, uh, it will not allow you to use the USB port, which is, which is correct. You don't wanna be using these batteries. The USB port will charge when you're plugged in to the adapter only, and that is a good thing. Now, right there is a speaker, multi-directional speaker, and this is on right now, actually, because if I hit the display, I could go to the five different brightness levels right on there. So right now it is battery powered. So we're going to undo the antenna right here, and we're gonna uh, power this up using the included USB cable and the adapter. So I'm gonna plug that into 115 volts. And we're gonna plug the other end of this into the port that's labeled in right there. And only goes one direction. And now we're powered with the USB port. Now there's a little indicator right there and that shows that we have battery backup enabled and on. So there's a lot of features on here. The, uh, the manual does cover very nicely how to set this up and we're going to go over a lot of these features. Let's just start off with some of the basic ones to get us started here. So there is a volume down and a volume up Right there, real simple. There's a 12 or 24 hour mode. So if you hit that, you can see it goes to, it'll go to different modes. And you can see you lose the AM because now it's in 24 hour mode. You have a volume, a uh, up and down for the FM stations. To turn the FM on, you hit that FM button right there. And when you first power this on, it goes through and it will scan. Now let's just turn it on right there. So right now, this already scanned and it picked up stations for me. And even as the, it says FM and it has the station right there. If you want to go to the next station, you just hit that button right there. Now I'm in my basement, so these were all functioning stations upstairs. So you could see the volumes right here. You can raise it or you can lower it. And again, upstairs, this was picking up these channels perfectly. We're just in the basement right now. So that's the basic operation. When you first hold this down, it will scan and it will pick up all the stations you want. And right now they're all preloaded on there. I like that it has a little display on there and it shows you the FM and the frequency. And it also tells you what preset channel it is right there. See, one, two, three, four, and five. So found five channels upstairs. 
And there's the month and the date on there and the time. We're gonna go over how to set that next. Uh, before we do that, let's take a look at the, some other buttons on here. You can see there's an alarm button, alarm one, alarm two. There's a weekend button and there's a nap sleep button. We're gonna go over those also. Now you notice it says snooze dimmer color right there. So obviously it's a snooze button and you hit it. But if you wanna change the color, just hold it down. There's blue. There is red. There's a nice purple. There's blue, yellow, white, green. So you have a lot of choices here. Um, I think that's really neat because if you get bored of one color, you just advance this and go to another color. Now let's turn this off just by double clicking on the FM and that will shut that off. Uh, but uh, the color combinations are really nice and the fact that you could dim it. The first dim setting is so low I can't even pick it up on the camera. So you have a lot of choice right there. A lot of people don't like bright alarm clocks and this one has such a dim on there that you're going to have a setting that will work for you, I guarantee it. So I want to show you another feature which is the charge port on here. So I'm going to take a cable that I have, a spare cable, and I'm going to plug that into the port on here the correct way. It only goes one way. So on the back of this alarm clock, there is that port. And then I could charge anything that uses the USB. So I'm just going to give an example right here. I have a Bluetooth player. And I plugged it in right there. Now this could be your mobile phone, it could be a tablet, your Kindle. So right there it's charging and the red LED is on. So anything you want to charge with a USB port on the back of the alarm clock, you can do that. And that's nice because right out of your nightstand, you could be charging your mobile phone or your Amazon tablet, whatever you have, you could be charging. So I'm going to be reading the instruction manual here. It says for setting the time, long press the 12 24 hour button right here, enter time setting. So to set the time, and you hold down the 12, 24 hours, and you see it starts blinking, then you can advance right here, up or down. So right now I'm gonna set it to four, and then we're gonna hit this button again, and now the seconds or the minutes goes, and I'm gonna increase that with that button right there to what time it is right now, which is 38. I'm going to hit this again and then it stops blinking. So now it's 4.38 p.m. which is the correct time. When you're setting the time you could also long press these up and down and it will rapidly cycle through the hours or the minute setting so that it could save you time as you're actually setting it. Now if you're trying to set the alarm, let's say alarm 1, you hold this button down alarm 1 and you see that on the right there, it's got the hour, and you could advance or decrease that right there. You can see it's changing. You pulse this alarm one again, and then you could change the minute right on there, just like that. Then you pulse it again, and you have a little selection right there, and that is saying alarm one is enabled. If you advance this, you get a little symbol right there, and that's the radio. And then if you hit it again, you have a choice of which memory, and you can change that to the different channels. So you'll wake up with whatever channel you want. Then you hit the alarm one again, and you're all set. So let's do that again. You hit alarm one, and you get the hour, which you could advance or decrease. You hit it again, and you could advance the minute. And now let's say we hit it one more time, and we pick this the station. Let's say we don't want to have the FM radio come on. Let's hit the alarm one again. And we advance at the time, 654. And then right there, that symbol is the radio. So if I hit this button here to the right, I could go to off. 
or I can go to the alarm or the radio, the little symbol right there, now if you, or off. So if you go to the alarm, you could hit this button again and you could adjust the volume level right here. And that's nice because then you can make it so that it's low or very loud. That's up to you. Then you hit it again and you're all set. So setting the two is very similar and setting the weekend is very similar also. They're very similar functions and you just do basically what I just did to set those. Now this company also provides a very unique warranty. It's a full 18 month worry free warranty. To set the date on here, you're gonna long press this weekend button and you're observing that the year is blinking then we can increase or decrease that using the increase or decrease buttons right there. So let's put that to 2020, let's hit this button again, and then it sets that right there, real simple. And then you can see blinking is the month, and we can advance that to the month right now, which is June, and we can hit that button right there again, and then we can advance it for the day, June 5th, Hit that weekend button again, and now it's all set. So now I have the correct month and day and the year on there. I want to point out that when you have the alarm on, there is a little display right there, and then that shows you the alarm type, whether it's the FM or the alarm beep or off. That's a display that lets you know, so you can look at the clock, middle of the night, know that you got the alarm set correctly. This is a, a really good product. Uh, I like the way it looks. I like the way it's built. I like the port on there to charge. You could charge other devices. I think this overall is a very nice alarm clock. It seems like it's very solid quality. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.